Thank you for your interest in the Grand Island Police Department. Grand Island is a growing, prosperous community of near 50,000 people. The men and women of this police department are the soul of our organization. Our officers have a spirit of service and a dedication to making a difference in our community. But I would like you to hear it from the officers who work in the department, not just from me. I love it. It's, I've been here nine years. It's the best job I've ever had. Once you've been hired through our department, uh, we will send you to the State Academy. And upon completion and graduation of the State Academy, um, then you enter our field training program. And that's where a, a experienced, trained officer um, spends 14 weeks with you, training you, uh, so you know exactly what you need to do once you, you're assigned to your shift and, and patrol duty. You're going to know exactly what you're supposed to do. The building is great, it's brand new. Uh, we have workout facility, we have upstairs training rooms, um, updated technology. My office is uh, mobile. It's, it's nice if you need to, to look up a state statute, a city code, if you even need to look up the weather to see if what storm fronts coming in, what uh, tornado watches are, fellow officers we work with, the team meshes together. That's nice. Uh, when I was going to college, I decided I want to become a police officer. And I received my bachelor's degree here in Nebraska. And uh, my wife and I decided we wanted some place that would be good for a family and, and also was looking for a progressive and professional police department. I wanted a community that was large enough that had opportunities in the schools and also some community opportunities as far as um, community functions and fair and things like that that you can attend as a family. St. Francis was part of it. They offer a, a good medical facility. Um, that's where my daughter was, was born at. Um, they have a nice birthing center there, brand new, um, nice big room, and, and they were real helpful, real understanding with our, our situations. You can be an officer, you can be, have that adrenaline rush, you can do that kind of stuff, and still shut it off when you get home, be a mom, be a good mom, be a good wife. Like with the 12-hour shifts, it's a great thing because now you do have every other weekend off. You know, you're more likely to get at least a holiday off instead of having no holidays a year. The department, I, I think they're trying to become more family-oriented. For example, me being pregnant, I mean, they let me stay on light duty so I don't have to burn time until I have the baby. And then once I have the baby, I still get that six to 12 weeks off. And even being pregnant like this last year, I got to help with DT. Even though I was pregnant, I could stand back and instruct without actually getting hands-on. And that was something that was nice because I still a part of that. This department, it, it goes above and beyond when it comes to that kind of stuff because they're more flexible than they have to be. This department has a great opportunity um, for various roles for advancement. I worked all three uh, days, swings, and nights for a number of years. I was transferred to CID, Criminal Investigations. I worked there for three or four years. Sixteen years doing any one thing, whether it's police work or working in a factory or you know any job that you can think of, would become mundane. And the opportunity to move around within the department and experience many different uh, aspects of it definitely keeps it fresh, keeps it young, and it makes it a lot easier to go 16, 17 years. It's definitely what you want to make of it. In order to enjoy your career as a police officer, you need to get involved, and Grand Island is one of the best places that I can think of where you'd be able to do that. Officer training and development within the department is a top priority. Well, we do what's called stress inoculation training. Um, we rely heavily on that. What we do is we put them in situations that are, are as close to possible real life as possible in a training environment so that we can be with them and they can learn from their mistakes and also feel better about the successes that they have all in a controlled environment so when they encounter that type of thing on the street it's not a foreign concept to them. You come to us, you will not hit the street until you are confident, I am confident and the department's confident that you can handle yourself. I am very confident in the training that we provide and somebody can walk into our door day one and by the time I'm done with them, they're a fully trained police officer. The department will prepare you 
to, to do the job. During crisis, our training definitely kicks in and, and takes over. Safety is a high priority. You know, watch out for each other, take care of one another. Everybody wants to go home at the end of the night. To do that, we just gotta be aware of our surroundings and, you know, watch, watch each other's back. Your training kicks in. You're gonna come out on top. I feel that every day that I come to school, um, uh, saying hello or good morning or greeting the kids is, is, uh, is making a difference in itself because it may be the only time that they actually have somebody um, respond or recognize maybe some of their accomplishments. Having the police officers in the schools allows the police, um, the schools, and other agencies actually to work together um, so that we can help these families out. I know I'm making a difference each and every day that I come here. I, I see kids that maybe have made bad choices in the past, um, making some good ones, making some strides toward being a good person in our community, and that's our goal. Lived here all my life, so I may be a little biased, but I, I really like the community of Grand Island. Felt a safe place to raise my own family. I was working for the city as a maintenance worker. Um, it was a good job, paid well, had good benefits, but I was looking for, uh, for a career rather than just a job and I found, uh, found one that suits me well. It's the job that fits my personality or the career that fits my personality. There's days that are more challenging than others, absolutely, but it's still at the end of the day, you know you've done something to better the community. Um, even on the most challenging days, uh, you may get frustrated, you're gonna have that with any job or career, um, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know you've still made a difference. Uh, you've still impacted somebody's life.